two states in Australia have declared an emergency with raging bushfires bringing death and destruction. At least three people have been killed and thousands have been forced out of their homes in New South Wales and Queensland. There's also a warning that lives and homes in Sydney and the surrounding areas will be at risk. Our correspondent Phil Mercer reports now from Sydney. Fire authorities have been given emergency powers as eastern Australia prepares for a horror day of bushfires. Brutal conditions are forecast on Tuesday. Fire crews have come from around Australia and from New Zealand to help. It's a military-style operation. Boots on the ground are supported by water-bombing aircraft as firefighters prepare for the onslaught. Given what we saw yesterday and the expected weather conditions again today, uh, we can expect to see the, the alert levels increase on a number of these fires uh, up in northern New South Wales. The conditions are still extremely dry, uh, the fire behaviour is still quite volatile uh, and there are still uh, lots of communities uh, in the northeast of the state uh, that remain at risk today. Sydney and regions to the north, south and west are on edge. You can already smell the smoke in the air and the winds have really started to pick up. A long drought has made the ground bone dry and firefighters could well be facing horrific conditions. Australia is a land well used to nature's extremes, but officials say this fire emergency is unprecedented. Residents in bushfire-prone regions near Sydney have been advised to leave. More than 350 schools and colleges will also be closed as communities prepare for the worst. Three people have died in the fires, and so far, more than 150 homes have been destroyed. It's only things. We've got family, and we've got our lives, and we've got great neighbours and great friends, and they all, they all rally together. Since the start of this year's fire season, more than two million acres of land in New South Wales have been scorched. Parts of Queensland are also preparing for more dangerous conditions in the coming days. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.